Welcome to Summit Awesome Games, good looking people, my name is Rob. Today's video is brought to us by our channel sponsor, M-Wave Australia, who gave us one of their PCs, which we're going to use to set up a live stream for whatever you want. Anything. Now, everything here is optional. Uh, I don't know you. I don't know what you're planning to stream, but this will get you up and running for all your weird things that you're going to show. So, for this, we're going to set up a webcam, a microphone, and gameplay, and then send it out to the world for them to hopefully watch and enjoy. We're going to use OBS, so download and install that, and you'll be greeted with this. Down the bottom, we see scenes and sources. Like a movie, different scenes are different setups featuring different things or variations of the same thing. So you could make a scene that is just holding a welcome screen, a scene that's just gameplay, a scene that's just your webcam, or a mix of everything above. So let's make our first scene. We're going to call it The Stream. In this scene, we need sources, so we're going to add our webcam source. Choosing our webcam. And then we're going to add our gameplay. Depending on what your game is on, we'll decide this setup. So if you're playing PC games, you could capture your display, which would show everything on your PC screen. Or you could choose to capture a window, which would just show that window. So maybe you're not playing a game, maybe you're doing uh, something on your browser or your app, so window capture is great for that. Uh, or you can pick game. If, you're, if it detects it as a game, you can select game and then select the game that you're playing and it'll show just that. However, if you're streaming from a console, you're going to need a capture card. So let's set that up. We're going to use our Elgato. We're going to plug it into our console as usual and then choose video capture device as our source. And boom, there is our game. Now we can resize our webcam, get it to where we want lock everything that we're happy with and then if you want to crop stuff maybe you don't want your full webcam showing you can hold alt and then grab a corner or a side and just shape it how you want you'll see it'll go green and then yeah you're done lock it in you're set let's set our audio sources so click the little cogs here near the audios and then we're going to pick our input device for our microphone default is usually good but if you're having trouble and it's not uh, detecting yourself, just pick your microphone directly that you're using. Same with desktop audio. Default can work. Sometimes if you're switching between headsets and speakers and stuff, it can wig out. So just pick your headset or wherever you're sending your sound to, most likely your headset. Now that's our scene and sources set. Super easy. We can make these fancier with anything we want to add later. Borders to our webcam, events, social media stuff popping up. Uh, little actions that appear when people subscribe or follow or donate or whatever it is but save that for later become a streamer first add that later now these sources can be added to other scenes and mixed and match but we're going to make the one scene just know that other scenes you can recycle sources that you've already made now we need to get the stream live right so we're going to go to settings we'll start with video first so depending on what your computer can do we'll decide these so Base resolution is what your local OBS is going to set it to and show. So set your correct resolution for whatever it is you're doing. Most likely 1080, but if you're doing 4K stuff, chuck it into uh, 1440. Now output, this is what we're sending people, okay? This is what we want the world to see. So if you're unsure, start small and work your way up. So usually start at like 720 and then go up from there and then try and get your desired resolution, depending on what your computer can do and what your internet can handle. Bicubic downscaling is great. Leave it there unless you're going to set your NVENC encoding, uh, which is your hardware encoding, then it's recommended to do the LANC one, but uh, bicubic, standard, leave it. Frame per second, we want to go for 30 or 60, depending on your PC. 30 is fine for streaming. I don't think people are too picky, unless they're jerks, so 30 is fine. But if you can go 60, go for it. Audio, all this should be fine. We set all our outputs. We're rocking nice 48 kilohertz, so don't worry about that. Gonna go over to output. This is where the life of streaming lives or dies. So go to advance, then go for the encoder. 264, this will be your software encoder, or there's NVENC, which is your hardware encoder. Now, I don't know your computer, but just leave it at 264. But if you've got a nice graphics card that can do a lot of stuff, go ahead, chuck it on NVENC, see what you can do. Uh, but for now, we're gonna leave it at 264, so that's software encoding. Our uh, CPU is handling all that. We're going to rate, control, CBR. Uh, now we find out if your internet speed is good. So whatever it is, go test it. Find out what it is. 
Whatever your upload speed is in megabits per second, times that by a thousand. That's what you can handle. Obviously you don't wanna use all your upload speed, so you'll know your kilobits per second. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set our stream for 1080p, and if you want 60 frames per second, that's 6,000 kilobits per second. So if you can handle that, sweet. As long as your computer can handle it, excellent. If you can't, then 1080 at 30 frames per second is 4,500. And if you can't handle that, then 720p at 30 frames per second is 3,000 kilobits per second. Keyframe interval, set that to two. CPU usage, go for very fast. And then if your PC is struggling, drop it down. If your PC is breezing it, bump it up. Now, head to wherever you're streaming to. Whatever your streaming service is, find your stream key. Set your service, and if you need, set your server and then keep your stream key secret okay this is where your stream is going if people have your stream key they can stream whatever weird stuff they want to your stream and it's your fault because it's your stream so keep that secret don't let people know that one but that's it that's our basic stream all set up look at those sweet settings now give it a go see if you enjoy it then start building up on it you don't need an expensive movie production of a stream out the gate so if you hate streaming what was the point of going all fancy to begin with this is it. This is a nice base one. You can, maybe you don't want your webcam, you just want your voice, you just mix and match. Take in, add what you want, take out what you don't like. It's your stream, do what you want. Uh, but I think the 1960s hot dog song said it best when it comes to streaming. Oh, I wish I was an online streamer. That is what I truly wish to be. Cause if I was an online streamer, Every product I want, I'd get for free.